Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back playing Cash Games 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Unfortunately, took a bad beat here at 2-5. We'll show the hand. Uh, open 7-8 suited under the gun from the cutoff here. Big blind defends. Flop 2 pair, uh, so we flop top 2. I think versus shorter stack and the specific player I like raising be willing to go with. We raise, they jam. We obviously call at this point. Uh, they have ace-9 and unfortunately turn the straight, so tough one there. I've... Opening 6-5 suited, get called, flop a flush. Start small here, get raised. Um, with a baby flush, I'm trying to think, if we put in the three bet, I think we're going to. Oh my gosh, if they have a better flush, this is tilting. But I think this is a stack off. They have seven nines, so they flop the straight, we have 99.5% and get some money back right away. Open, this player jams in like 35 blinds. Call, they have queen nine suited. Uh, they drill a queen on the turn. Man. Unfortunately, get that in pretty good. Don't win. Here we raise a limper with queen jack suited. They call, we'll check back flop. Turn king, pretty good turn card. Uh, once they check again, starting to value bet. And a five river. And going for a rubber value bet. Snap jams. Okay, so <laughs> most of the times I probably just believe people. This guy has been doing some insane stuff. Oh, uh, where I want to make a hero call. So the problem is like, what bluff is he coming up with? Having a queen's kind of bad. I just have queen 10. Um, man, I would normally be able to fold this, but this guy's been just going nuts enough that I think we just call. Although we haven't seen him run like river bluffs yet, but he hasn't had those situations too. I think versus this guy, we're just going to call it down, but not loving it. And they did have a king. Milks me for all of it. All right, so kind of go calling station mode versus that player and end up losing. So we open cutoff button flats, small blind squeezes. They're aggressive enough here. I think we can go for the squeeze. Now, sadly, if we get jammed on to be a fold, they call. Very good news, we flop massive. I uh, can go pretty small this flop here. So that's what we're gonna do. All for turn. So this one is interesting, where it's about pop behind, I have a huge hand. We don't have a diamond, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and check here. If there's a flop flush draw, maybe more likely to bet. But I'm gonna try to get some lighter calls. King River, and at this point, going to be a jam for value. Give the man king queen. Even like a weaker ace, like still might call once I check. Now this one might be a harder river to get paid on because they could put me on kings exactly, I guess. Whereas if it's like a eight river, maybe they're more likely to call the weak ace. But we do go for the value jam. And eventually does call with ace. Oh my gosh, he tank called with ace king. That's gotta be a slow roll, not a knit roll, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, it's not a friend of stream, so I can't say for sure it's a slow roll, but good golly. Oh man. That almost folded. Oh, come on. Oh, you know things are not going well when something like that happens. So I think he had kings. Oh gosh. Oh man, that is probably one of the more painful hands I've lost in a very long time. <laughs> three betting ace jack here. Pause, flop the ace. Uh, ace five three, I'm gonna go for check. That's we're just gonna go check call. Uh, three turn, I don't think he has a ton of three X and not a major concern. If anything, less likely as ace three pocket threes, which is good. Has played calling, has ace nine hold. Oh, yes, there we go. I thought we chopped for a second, but we're good. <laughs> ace jack, good versus ace nine. So we open button, 100 defends, betting flop here. Check raise, obviously a continue. A lot of draws out here will call. 
turn two seems like a good turn. Uh, so we do block some draws like king, queen, king, ten, uh, which isn't great, but we unblock clubs, which is good. Uh, bets over bet. Trying to think of what we do here. I think I can just get this in. So if we call, it's what? 4, 10. Yeah, this is what I don't know here. So I think he has to call off his combo draws. I'm going to want to review this hand after because I'm not sure if this is right. Because obviously if he has a value hand, we're just crushed. But we do put like his draws in a weird spot. So unless we're getting slow rolled here. Um, now if I had kings of the club, I wouldn't do this without IGM. Like I said, I'm going to want to review that. I'm not sure that's correct. Um, but I think was maybe okay, but definitely worth a review because I there's a chance that's a big mistake too. A little loose on this open. I was saying this was buttons a mistake probably. Uh, checking back turn trips. Um, leads. I think even though it's a week five, this is a raise. Their draws will continue. Their jack x is a decent chance of continuing. And then our Brick Rivers will probably jam, although there's a lot of things that aren't super great. 7-8 comes in. I'm trying to think if I can jam for value. I think we do here, at least with the flush draw missing. Starts to feel a little thin. Snap called by Ace-Jack. I got snap call is slightly worried, but we end up being good at the 5-4 with a loose open there. <laughs> Working out. Raise Queen 9 flop trips yet again versus this guy. Raises us, uh, just gonna be called in such a dry board here. Deuce turn. Bet's 106, only 87 left. Um, I can't imagine they're giving up a ton. I mean, yeah, I just guess we just keep the bluffs in or do we jam this? 387 back, yeah, just call, I guess. And Colony River. Queen nine, wow, they flatted pre, we got super lucky, <laughs> flopped the trips. Nice pop for us. Running good. We're betting kings here. Jam, we call kings, ace, king. That's not a good flop. Whew, we fade it all. Scary flop. Fortunately, do end up holding though where it matters. All right, so, uh, gonna go for the four bet once they go for the squeeze. Once we do this, it would be to call off. Not feeling great under gun versus big blind, but in a squeeze spot, I think fine here. If it's just like we open, they flat, we might have some more just flats, um, as tight as that is, but Queen's Ace is no fun. These players being in here kind of screwed us because we would have got away after like the turn there. So, anyways, as played, lose Queen's to Aces. No fun. Okay. Normally, don't have any cold calls, but versus these min click three bets, I think okay too. Flop a flush draw, ace high board. That's 30. Don't have a ton behind. I don't think I want to be raising with the queen high flush draw. So we'll just call here. Turn the flush. Very nice. Jams, obviously, we're continuing. Trying to think if it's a call or jam. I think just call. Up against 10 4. We're good. Cut off open, three bet ace four suited. Let's see the call. Huge flop. Flop the ace and the ace a flush draw. Go ahead and bet. Goes for raise. I uh, don't see any reason to do anything but just call. We want to keep in worse flush draws here. Don't hit it on the turn. We'd be really sick if he had like 2x pot jammed it. I mean, we probably just have to call. He could have like king, queen of spades. Obviously, mostly worried about set. Question is, do we just jam this in now or call? Call fold river, I guess. We don't improve. Uh, we do improve to nuts. 
Thought about jamming turn. I want to take a look at it again. These spots when you're super deep are tough. So now we're definitely opening as the worst flush. Now it can't be like king queen though, which is bad. Obviously calling and had the set. <laughs> Obviously super lucky. I'm going to want to take a look at the turn. I'm not sure if it's right. Flop's super easy. Just call turn. I think is just a call there. And then we fold river a lot, assuming he'll give up a lot of the spades. But obviously running insanely well. Turn, rivering the nuts there when the SPR is super low against the set. Open hijack button, three bet, four betting here. Would be calling if we got GM done. Just calls instead. Overpair with a spade here, starting small. We get raised, probably just jamming it in here. The S pair about two to one. Does raise, we'll jam. Give him like jacks of the spade. Let us hold. Ace king with the ace of spades, and fortunately we fade it though. And win nice pop. Alright YouTube, but that's the end of our cash game session and we finally book a small win here. So we played for six hours at 2-5 and 1-2 in the 2-5 game, 1,352 hands plus 835, 1-2, 1,008 hands minus 604. Total profit plus 231. Not a huge win today, but a very nice comeback from down 1.6k. So I hope you at least enjoyed the hands and the videos today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.